So we're gonna take and set our supplies off to the side. Make sure you have your piece of paper on the table to work on. We're going to need a little bit of clay for our rattle part. So we're gonna just take and cut a little bit off of each piece of clay. Try and take the same amount off each one. We're gonna take your chunk of clay and we need to um, round it. So we're gonna use the palm of our hand to kind of tap the corners of the clay. You will want to try and have two equal amounts because you want both spheres to be equal in size since one will be the top and one will be the bottom of the rattle. I had already rounded one of my spheres so you see me only working on one of the spheres here in the video. So I'm just going to work on rounding it here and once I have started rounding it I can kind of roll it in my hands or I can also roll it on my mat and I can use my hand to kind of tap the corners so if it gets too flat somewhere. Okay, when you make a pinch pot, you want to have very fresh clay. That will help to um, ensure that you have less cracking. Um, we're going to start first by making a little packet of um, beads. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of newspaper here. There should be some at your table or a little, I'll have a little piece of paper for you. And you're just going to take some of this clay. Now the size of your bead helps to determine the sound. Okay, so we're going to just take and roll little spheres we're going to put them right here so the smaller the bead um, i believe it's the higher the sound the larger the bead the lower the sound the walls the thicknesses of your walls also have an impact on the sound so the thinner your walls the louder the sound the thicker the walls the lower the sound and it's also a little bit more quiet okay so some tiny beads and a little bit thinner walls. Um, and you can make them a variety of sizes. You can make them all the same size or you could make them different sizes. I'm aiming for about the size of a pea. Now we're gonna fold up this paper and put it in the center of our um, pinch pot. Um, and the newspaper will actually burn up in the kiln. This will release the beads and make the rattle sound. So you can see that I'm making several of them. I'm aiming for somewhere between 8 to 12 beads um, in my packet that I'm going to add to my pinch pot. So I've got all my little beads here and I still have a little extra clay. I'm just going to set this off to the side. And then I'm going to take and fold over the edges of this newspaper here to help keep all those beads together. I'm just folding it into a little packet. I'm gonna set this off to the side. I will put this in my pinch pot once I've made my pinch pot. So um, now I have rounded my two spheres. They look pretty even in size. Um, if one of them seems too big compared to the other, um, you could, so if I felt like this one was maybe a little bit bigger, I could take and chop off a little bit more clay. Um, I will try and do my best as I'm cutting the clay to try and keep your pieces even. So now what I'm going to do is I'm, I need to make a hollow in my pinch pot. So I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to press it into my clay. Okay, notice I did not press it all the way through. Then I'm going to pinch my thumb outwards towards my other finger. So I am kneading or pressing, pinching the clay between my fingers, my thumb on the inside and my fingers on the outside. Now we wanna be careful that we don't go too thin on the bottom here. So one of the things you can do is take your toothpick, you can press it into the clay here, pinch at the top of the toothpick or where the toothpick is showing and pull it out. So I can see I have about a quarter of an inch or a little bit more there. That's a pretty good amount. If I felt like that was too much, I could pinch a little bit more there on the bottom. If it was too thin, I would maybe need to add a little bit more clay there to prevent cracking. So again, remember, we want our walls to be about the width of our pinky, maybe slightly smaller, but I wouldn't go too thin. If you make your walls too thin when you go to add your details, there won't be enough support there and they could crack and break. Okay, so I've got one pinch pot done. I need to repeat that same process. So I'm gonna take my thumb, I'm gonna stick it in to my uh, sphere of clay, and then I'm going to very carefully start pinching outwards. Okay. I'm working my way around. Again, another thing, we're going to want to put these two pieces together. So we want to check to make sure that we're kind of keeping them within the same shape here. Okay, we don't want one to get too much bigger. 
Again, just trying to keep those, uh, the walls the same thickness. And then I can kind of check, I can check here. They are the same thickness at the bottom, so that's a good sign. Um, sometimes we'll get a lot of clay kind of tucked up in this edge. So just kind of estimate with your fingers. Look at them on either side and see, are they really far apart there? That might, If they are, you might need to add a little bit of pressure there to kind of help hollow that a little bit more, okay?